Hi everyone, Jennifer here with another Quapaw Farmers Market tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about some common pests and diseases you might find in your garden, specifically on your tomatoes and some natural remedies. I would like to introduce our special guest today, Don Warmington, horticulturist at Downstream Casino Resort. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Let's head to the greenhouses. One of the most common diseases on your tomato plants is blossom end rot. It looks something like this. The bottom has started to wilt. This is caused by lack of calcium in the soil. Dawn, what do you recommend for some remedies for this? So this is a pretty easy remedy. It's just a calcium deficiency and you just need to put calcium back into your tomatoes. You can easily use the granule, which takes about a tablespoon per plant. You don't want it to touch the stalk or you can use the liquid. Mix it in with your water and water it. Um, lack of being faithful on your fertilizer. You have to be faithful with your fertilizer. The more you fertilize, the more you're going to get a calcium deficiency. It's in your soil and it's in your water. Add calcium and you'll be good to go. Another common disease you might find in your tomato plants is blight. The discoloration here on the leaves you can see is the beginning of blight. Blight is related to the fungus family, and this happens from water splashing up from the soil onto the leaves. This can take over your garden quickly and can destroy all of your tomato plants. Don, what do you recommend to put on here to control this? So to control blight and fungus, we use three tablespoons of baking soda to one gallon of warm water. A drop of dish soap helps your chemical to stick to your plant. This can also be caused your fungus and blight is spread because it needs a neutral pH and this is going to knock your pH down and add a little bit of acidity to it. Another common pest problem you might find in your tomato garden is hornworms and cutworms. The cutworms like to attack at the youngest phase of the tomato and the hornworms like to devour the top foliage on your more mature plants. What would you recommend for treating both of those? So here at the greenhouse out in our raised beds we have had worms, we've had hornworms, cut worms. We treat them with dipel dust or diatomaceous earth. They're the easiest and most natural. You sprinkle them around the soil around your plant and you need to get them on your plant foliage as well to help with the worms that are underneath. This is your most natural way and it works amazingly. Another honorable mention in the pest category is aphids and white flies that also like to attack tomato plants. Don, what do you have there? So here in our gardens at Downstream, we use, uh, this is called Triac 70 or neem oil. You can get neem oil at most any garden center. Um, most people use seven spray and seven dust on their tomatoes because they can harvest within 14 days. It is not the most natural way you can go. It's not as bad as some other chemicals, but the most natural way would be to go with the neem oil. It suffocates and it does a great job for us. Don, thanks again for having us today and showing us some of the remedies for the common pests and the tomatoes. You're most welcome. Please come join us anytime. Fantastic. And a special thanks to Downstream Casino. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Quapaw Farmers Market.